Um, hi everyone. So this, I promise, will be my very oh my god, my cat. Um, not my cat, my foster cat. He's being very naughty. Um, so I just want to do my very last video about the Bon Appetit thing. It's all come to an end, and I would say it's like a pretty much a happy ending for most people, except for the downfall of Bon Appetit. But we'll talk about that in a bit. I want to start off with our most interesting and most fun thing to talk about, which is Sola. She has been thriving. She is completely done with Bon Appetit, not even as an editor anymore. So she's completely done with that. She's on. She is a producer and the star of a show called Making with Sola. I think on the channel with. Ooh, I can't remember his name. He's like a bald man, in New York. He makes fictional food. Um. Binging with Babish. So she's a part of the Babish universe, and I've watched a couple episodes. They're okay. They're not as humorous as the Bon Appetit ones, but I think once they get a hang of it, it'll be more fun to watch. I think, personally, I think the videos are a little bit too long. But people love it. People seem to be loving it. They get millions of views. I highly recommend you check it out if you love Sola and you miss Sola. She also has another... She has work with um, New York Times Cooking, and she has work with another food channel. So she's just like all over the place in the best way possible and making money and, you know, getting paid fairly. Um, so who remained at Bon Appetit after the fiasco is Brad and, wow, I can't remember, Chris Morocco. I think pretty much everyone else has left. Um, Claire announced that she left. And she will not be continuing her contract, and she has now signed with CAA, which is a um, agency, which I think the people from Love is Blind also is signed to that one. It's very, like, it's a pretty big one. Um, so that's really exciting, because I really like her. Um, Sola did attack Brad in an, in an article recently. I don't know if she really meant it, meant it to sound like that, but she kind of compared him to Trump and people kind of was mad at her, but um, yeah, so that's like a little bit of drama if you guys want to read into it. I think it's a Vulture article where she says, why do people listen to him and love him because he's just like a huge, big, um, silly, dumb guy, um, which is like... I don't know how I feel about that because I got into Bon Appetit first because I was watching Brad and I found him so funny because he's so freaking funny and the editing is obviously perfect but like he naturally is like my kind of humor and made me so it was just so hilarious um so I don't know like people can be entertaining without being like super culinarily went to culinary school or something right you can just be an entertainer and then again, I don't really know who, what Brad is like behind the scenes. We we only see the things we see on video, right? So, um, but that like was a little bit stirring. But yeah, she has her own show now, and like she's getting paid. Uh, other people who left, I think, just have cookbooks. I don't know too much about what other people are doing. Um, other than that, I'm really proud of her for standing out and doing that, and I'm proud of her, everyone for leaving. And the new Bon Appetit, actually, actually, they, like, have new videos now, but they don't really have views, or, like, not that many views, not like before. And they have, they have a few people, and, like, actually, the people they hired seem really talented and diverse and... I saw this one video of this woman of color making um, oyster mushroom, like a vegan dish that looked amazing and I really want to try it. I don't know if they're getting paid fairly. I hope they are. And if not, I hope this is something they're okay with. I mean, they agreed to it, so I'm sure they made the, deci the right decision for themselves. And... I personally am not subscribed to Bon Appetit on YouTube anymore just because people I really love, like Claire, the only person I watch occasionally is Brad, and even then I don't watch his videos where he's like fishing or doing some weird stuff, so like if they pop up my recommended, I'll watch them, but I'm not going to be subscribed to something that's just going to be pretty much things I'm not going to click on anymore, and it's not like an act of defiance or he's being cute. You know, anything like that. But 
just a personal thing. Um, also, yeah, Sola also mentioned that Chris Morocco is surprisingly in a lot of the hiring decisions, and he, she claimed that he always made the people of color, he made sure they were 10 times, like, 10 times more talented than people who were white, which is, like, um, excuse me, um, so bad, <laughs> and that is, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know, it made me kind of mad, um, oh, Molly left, Molly left, of course, she's mad, or not she's mad, but she, you know, nothing will reach agreement, so Molly left, and actually, in the beginning, I didn't really like Molly, I don't know why, sometimes, you know, you just have a feeling, but now I really love her, and I think she's very talented, and she's awesome, so, I think that's about it, and I promise this is my last video about it, unless something explodes, and like, something really exciting happens, which I doubt it, I just, go follow Sola if you miss her, and, yeah, let me know what you think, thank you guys for watching, these, I don't know, people love these videos, so, um, hope you like seeing my foster cat Marlon, and hope you like seeing my foster cat, uh, Toothless, if you guys are interested, please go foster. They're amazing. They're so cute and amazing. Um, yeah. Bye!